Hello and welcome back to Lord of the Rings Realms in Exile. Before we jump in today, you guys wanted to see how the dwarves to the south were doing. So let's go ahead and look at them. They're still alive. They're very much kicking. His wife's dead though. Um, <laughs> I don't know what else you want me to look at. They're there. Uh, I'm going to focus on my stuff though. Also, one thing I noticed. You guys seem to care a lot more about your borders than I do. I personally don't mind if the borders change. Because for me, that's part of playing a sandbox. I love when big events like this happen where Sauron has been defeated and the map is so splintered because it offers a chance for the borders to change. They become more dynamic. So some of you are asking, oh, JBD, stop Arno from taking Gondor and all of this stuff. Uh, I'm not too interested in that, to be honest. I'm going to take what I want to take and we'll see how the world develops. I don't think it, that's that big of a deal. If it's a big deal for you, then feel free to play how you want in your playthrough. Right. We have plagues going on. Well, I don't think we need to care about that, do we? Where even is the plague? Oh, it's down here. The infections in Celebros. What even is this? It's the the Unger High Sweat. Okay, I mean, we can ignore that one because it's not even in our region. Maybe my son will get affected, but he's a dwarf. Also, we are in a battle. I think we got to go and help. Um, What's his name again? Duke. <laughs> Bloody hell. I haven't played all weekend, so I need to remember. We're going... To the east to help Duke. So let's go ahead and unpause ourselves here. Do I have someone with the organizer tree? I do. Right. It seems I was organized on Friday when I finished recording. Uh, and let's go over here. Please forgive me if I'm a little bit slower than usual. There is a heat wave in the UK. And it's only going to get worse over the next couple of days. So hopefully that gets sorted. My dear grandfather, I eagerly propose to formalize the ties. But to really bind us together by signing an alliance between our realms. Dretton, my grandson. Oh, doing your father, my son. I remember him, his loss. Still weighs heavy on my heart. I will protect you, young lad. Do not worry. Nothing will happen to you whilst I rule in Kazadum. Also, I read some more of The Hobbit last night. Man, it's so good. It's so damn good. I feel like... Uh, the, the movie, the, the atmosphere is, is kind of off. Maybe it's just how I interpret it. But I, I, I still like both very much. But man, the book is so good. I'm really glad that this mod got me into reading the books. Right, we've arrived. Um, I'm probably going to fight the armies first. Let's command them ourselves again. I've, I, I've, I've got a taste of blood now. Uh, and I'm addicted. I want to humble orcs and goblins. We got another perk. Let's get promising prospects. So marriage acceptance is increased. Uh, that would be nice if we ever make use of it again. <laughs> We're going to take this back. Oh, my days. The sieges are so fast. These guys stand absolutely no chance. Look at this. I'm going to keep chasing them. My ally down here is by himself. Ah, 247 gold. I'll spare the expense to rebuild. It's fine. It would be nice if I could catch one of their armies. Oh, this might be our chance here. Okay, let's catch the armies here. We caught 8,000 of them in a battle. And the other 11,000 have just joined in. <laughs> oh, we crushed them. We lost 68 and killed 19,000. This is insane, honestly, at this point. Absolutely insane stuff. Um, also, when this war is over, we need to take a look at our culture. We have 36,000 prestige. I think we can edit the culture a little bit. And you guys informed me of something that gives us unlimited kingdom holy wars. Which could be huge because someone decided to waste the, the only holy war we have on a, a kingdom level. It wasn't me, I assure you. It was my advisors. <laughs> Wait, no, you guys are technically my advisors. Okay, it was me. We know to expect this kind of stuff for myself by now, though. 79 gold for that. That's very nice. I'll be honest, I'm very much enjoying the mass sieging and war at the moment. It's nice to be the dominant side after fighting against the Balrog and Sauron for so long. I feel like we deserve this. This is a lot of fun and I'm all for it. Right, 100% war score. So let's go ahead and disband you guys. Then you can end the war. 956 gold to Duke. Oh, Wow. I mean, it's not quite 8,000, but that's going to go a, a long way to help him rebuild. And also, we're building uniform regiments over here. Which means we're going to get another 25% increase to our men at arm damage and toughness. We are going to become even stronger than we already were. Right. So 
so we got a new artifact the fine brooch let's go ahead and sell that one i'm not interested in these kind of things and then another thing i want to do was the culture wasn't it yes now do i am i supposed to reform this oh i completely forgot what it was called now completely forgot what it was called wait if i scroll through here i'm sure one of them will stand out i don't think it was realm i don't think it was in realm let's see oh bloody hell this is where a pen and paper would have been good to write down such comments is it in warfare possibly i mean it's a religious one but there's not a religion unless it's under ritual does that count I'm not quite sure. Swords for hire? No, it's not swords for hire, is it? It's none of those. Maybe social. I don't think it's going to be in social. Maybe it is in ritual. By the sword? No limit to the number of kingdom level holy wars that can be declared by any one ruler. All the cast of spellies that require a specific level of devotion require one less. And then all the Moyan bid characters lose a diplomacy, but they gain an extra martial. We get 20% less monthly piety, but that's fine because we live for so long. And different faith opinion minus 15. Members of this culture believe that the best missionary is one carrying a sword. While support for holy wars are widespread, motives are scrutinized as to make sure that the divine powers would approve. I think we're going to get by the sword. It's going to take 30 years. I can't establish it because your culture established a new tradition too recently. So I can establish a new one in 3358. Right. In 13 years. I'll try and remember to do that. I guess that leads us on to our next war. How long is it going to take me to bloody raise the armies though? 17 months. What? What? <laughs> Man, it takes so bloody long in between the wars. It's fine. Uh, what's this? Sure. She wants to be an artist. Let us nurture her. Right. Uniform regiments have been constructed in Durin's Hall. If I want to get the last upgrade, one that's bloody expensive. But two, we need Delving Greedily, which is tier nine. Oh my days. Okay, we're getting to the point now where this is so damn expensive. What I might do instead is start focusing on the Sapphire Mines. So let's start upgrading those. We have the spare gold to do that. Um, so that's the plan. And we need to pass a little bit of time anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we can go on another war. Wait, are you... Yeah, everyone's orcs down here, I'm pretty sure. Man, taking their kingdom would be huge. Absolutely huge. But it's going to be at least nearly 50 years before I can do a kingdom holy war. To be honest, we might even be able to take all of their territory in that time as well. Neighboring ruler has won a war. Very nice. How long... How long am I waiting for now? Another 13 months. Right, we need to wait for the, the fourth month here. One day I will learn the... The actual calendar in here but not right now to the benevolent doing of khazad doom i call on you to honor our alliance and join me in the war to vanquish the darkness in the war camp of aldmir 30 000, 30 000. i don't think he actually needs our help though i mean i will accept but i'm pretty sure frandu doesn't need our help by the way guys once i deal with the orcs here I will shift my focus to unite endurance folk but as i've said many times in this series uh, i have my own priorities and i have my own order that i want to do things right now i don't wish to settle that grudge against franduil in fact that might be something for my son to do because we fought alongside franduil to destroy sauron and i think there's other jobs for me to be doing that take priority i know you guys might play it differently but it's my save <laughs> right 99 gold per month that's bloody huge also time's not going that fast because we're only on four times speed speedy bloody four right uh durin's hall where are you can we upgrade the mines again no because we need one of these we need this ever downwards a delving building that's the next stage what do i need for this we need a refinery, which is the quarry line of buildings. That's this one. Okay, to get a refinery, we can do that. Let's do that now then. We can slowly work on upgrading doing so. It's going to be making us so much gold. 101 gold income per month. 
I think we have surpassed Sauron's income at this point, which is huge. Someone's plotting to kill my bloody daughter. Well, that's not great. <laughs> In times like these, it's best to be wary of any strange smells. It's orcs, lads. Don't worry. It's orcs. Yeah, I'm not interested in this, especially when an orc is trying to sell me that. Get out of here. I ain't no bloody fool. I don't want your scams. Can I can I raise an army yet? I would absolutely love to. Another bloody seven months. Okay. How can a heart endure this kind of pain without breaking? It cannot be possible. Yet here I am. My heart beating on whilst yours has gone quiet. Oh, Anna. My beauty. Life will not be the same without you. The hammer is still. A forge is cold. All I can do is tear my beard in pain and cry. The High Queen of the Misty Mountains has passed. And Durin of House Durin is now alone. I could find a new spouse. But I think I don't want to remarry. I'm going to honor my wife. We had many children together. Uh, and I, I don't wish to remarry. I'm over my domain limit. Oh, because I, I would have lost the stewardship. That's true. So is there anything here that I don't really need? I think I'm using all of this. Except for the endless stair. So let's give the endless stair. Because that's the only place without men at arms. I'm going to give this to... Let's see. Ruler. Not a ruler. Unless someone already has land here. Oh, you have land. Do you know what? I'd prefer the peaceful. I charge you for overlooking the endless stair as well. He is my most trusted vassal. As I trust him with lands near my throne room. Isolate capital. Get out of it. We, we don't want to isolate the capital or enter seclusion. Get away. Right. Franduil won his wall. Very nice. Can I go on my wars again yet? I don't know. Uh, my vassal has come to pay homage. Very nice. The realm of men is recovering, which is always nice to see. Six months. Bloody hell, no time passes. Also, negotiate defensive alliance. You're already my protectorate, so I don't really care about that. Yeah, you guys told me to vassalize them. I can't. They're already my protectorate anyway. We don't need to vassalize absolutely everyone. The good thing is we're protecting them. That's already good enough for me, uh, roleplay-wise. Right, Durin's Hall. I mean, they're strong enough to look after themselves. Where they don't have to become direct vassals. Whereas the realms we're restoring here, we, we need the men as our direct vassals. Because, I mean, we had to take these lands back, right? The Dune land, I give it to them, have stood the whole war. Right, how do I upgrade this now? Um, No, we need to upgrade this. That's what we're doing. So now I need load bearing stones rudimentary tunnels what's that huh rudimentary tunnels is it this ah yes it's this so this needs to be wow tier seven okay i mean let's start upgrading that it costs us gold to upkeep this as well <laughs> but i guess it's gonna be gold worth um well spent eventually because I really want to get these minute arms upgrades. It's, it's going to be absolutely insane. Can I raise an army yet? I think so. On three months? It's really started to slow to a crawl now. Even on five times speed. Hmm. Two months. Okay. Dwarven concrete has been constructed in Durin's Hall. Let's go ahead and upgrade Valley again. Was it this one? Yes, it was this one. Let's get that built. Uh, we got more plague rubbish happening. Let's do this. I managed to convince the crowd. I lose a little bit of stress. And everything is peaceful once more in the realm. Right, I think we can declare war now. So I think we should do multiple this time. Can I take all of this at once? I feel like that's a little bit of a stretch. Although I would love to do that. You're my protectorate, aren't you? Yes. I already have one proposed alliance active. I can't give vassalage. But I am protecting him. That's fine. So what do I want to take first? Well, I want to take everything west of the Anduil. That was the plan. We're going to have to deal with these guys last. They're getting stronger. So let's declare war on these guys. 
Okay, do Holy War for Duchy. We'll take the War Camp of Gil Rain. And then I think we can also manage this one. We're going to declare... I can't declare Holy War against this guy. Okay. That's unfortunate. What about these guys? Can I declare a Holy War against you? I can. Let's take this. 38,000. If we fight both armies at the same time, we might be in a little bit of trouble. I can fight this though. Oh no. Wait. What's happened here? Establish protectorate. I can't. Because I'm at war. Okay. I mean, we have uh, humans here though. That's good. That's good. Maybe I take this. It's on the other side of the river. I'd rather take all of this together. I could maybe also take this. No, I can't. Why not? Are we not hostile faith? Yeah, they're evil. Oh. Is it because we don't border their lands? Because I don't border his lands either. I think that's what it is. Okay. Let's raise the men. The dwarfs. The Minas Tirith. I will be leading them once more. 45 days. And then we march. To wipe out more orcs. We can take the castle of Pelagir. I really like this model as well. And we can take more of the riverfront. We're getting outflanked. Which is not cool. But it's fine. Standardized timekeeping endurance hall. So let's see. Um, wait, I need one more, don't I? Load bearing stones. Yes. Okay, let's do that. That's 1,060 gold. Bloody hell. I did just get 460 additional taxes though, which is nice. And my armies are now raised. So let's go south. Let's go south. And we're going to try and absolutely blitzkrieg these guys. And then we need to deal with these ones as well. Are they already sieging? Okay, they're sieging these lands. That's fine. If they ever do make it to the mountains, I don't think they can siege it very quickly anyway. 83 gold for sieging as well. Bloody hell. Let's go down here. We, we got a fight on our hands. 31,000. We're outnumbered. We don't have the advantage. But we do have the might of the Dwarven army. Oh, we already won this war. That's insane. 200 for 31,000. <laughs> we slew so many of their commanders. Let's enforce the demands. Thank you very much. <laughs> Man, that was fast. Okay, now we can deal with these guys. And like that, we're gaining more and more territory. Load bearing stones have been built. So now I can upgrade this. I just need 5,300 gold. We can wait for that. Let's be patient. Also, I'll give away these lands after the war has been dealt with. One thing at a time. One thing at a time so we don't get overwhelmed. I mean, we could give it away now, but there's no rush. Okay, we've taken this. 101 gold. Oh, it's so nice. It's so bloody nice. I would siege more of it before I ended the war, but then we ruin the control for our new vassals. Three days for this. They're coming to attack me. Oh, I didn't get the siege off in time. Right. Let's get loyalty and respect. Spouse opinion plus 50 and skills from spouse or vizier counselor task must plus 25%. I'm not remarrying, so that's not going to help us. But I'm still going to get down to the gallant perk, I think. Legitimacy gained? Very nice. Wait, did we win the war? Did the war auto end? Oh, it did. Nice. And we don't have a cooldown on our armies this time for some reason. I still don't understand when that kicks in. And when it doesn't, right. I could even found a holy order. Should I? Maybe. But first, we need to restore these lands to the realm of men. We got some dwarfs overlooking the cities. But I will let the men slowly regain their territories. A local Gondorian noble. Let us do that. And then we can... No, 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 no. Wrong, wrong button. Wrong button. And then modify the contract. More taxes. There we go. And then you can hold more titles. I'm going to give you this. And I'm going to give you this. Your job is to oversee Pelagir. Wow, we're regaining territory so fast. What's the, the, the time? 3347. I think it was 3358, right? When we can establish the new culture. I've got to keep an eye on that. Right, You already have this. Let's find someone new to rule these lands. A local Gondorian for sure. And then I'm going to grant you more titles as well. 
I hope they don't forget what the dwarves of the Misty Mountains did for them. We didn't have to give them their lands back, but we are because we are generous. I hope they don't forget this. Right, I can probably create titles, right? So let's create the duchy of this. It's only 100 gold. I can also create this. Let's create it all. And I'm going to create this one as well. Because it gives us prestige and legitimacy. I mean, we don't need prestige, but legitimacy is still a problem. We're only level three and we, want, we need to be level four. Too many held duchies. That's fine. We're going we're gonna to get rid of that now. Right. Let's go ahead and give you your duchy. Uh, there it is. Very nice. Let's give you your duchy. Which one was this? Uh, Gilbrain. Yes, 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 yes. And then we have another duchy. I think it's for... Yeah, this one here. Who do I want to give this to? Hmm. You have more stewardship and you're pregnant. So you will have succession. I'm going to give you this duchy here. There we go. And then I could probably transfer vassals. Oh, not really. I can create the kingdom of Lamedon. Let's do that. Let us do that. Do I have too many kingdom titles? No, I don't know if that's a thing, actually. I don't know if that's a thing. Well, I don't want to hold on to these uh, kingdom titles. So, wh wh where's Lamedon? Lamedon is over here. Who do I want to be queen? I mean, you're 82 and you don't have an heir. You're 46 and at least you have an heir. So I'm going to make you queen of the Lamedon. There we go. Wait, where's the Norian? Where's the Norian? Um, a Norian is over here. Ah, okay, okay. Right. My son, you shall become king of the Norian lands. There we go. Let's get that sorted. We can transfer vassals. It just cleans things up a little bit. Why, why are you serving under me? Why are you not serving him? Wait. Grant Vassal. This guy. <clears throat> yes. Is it because you have lands elsewhere? Four titles. Wait, no. All of his titles. Yeah, there. 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 And there. Okay, I'm going to give him you as well. Granted vassals. Okay, that just cleans things up a little bit. Right. This is a new kingdom. So we keep you. Rohan is a kingdom. We have you guys over here. Things are looking a little bit cleaner. And then we have this mess. But we, we don't care. <laughs> That's where the gold is made. Right. So we should be able to holy war this now. Before we do that though. Let's check on this. 34 days. No, three months. Okay, we got to wait for the delay to go. That's that's the, the second part. Look, so that's going to take three more weeks. And then once that's gone, then we can raise the men again. Perfect. Beautiful. Also, I feel like I was going to do something else and I completely forgot. Right. We have the Rohirrim Power Danuk populists raising against us. So actually, let's wait for that to fire before we declare more wars. Titles can be usurped. Uh, we're not going to do that. That's our friend with the, the, the 100 prowess. Yeah, I'm not going to give her Rohan like some of you suggested. One, I've already given it to people anyway, so I'm not going to revoke that. And two, she already has land up here, so I'm not interested. Um, I want to keep the, the lands consolidated. That's one thing I do like is having vassals that have lands next to each other, if that makes sense, rather than split up. That's the only thing that does bother me a little bit. Also, <laughs> you're, you're, you're breaking my land a little bit here. Mm, she's never going to accept the vassalage, though. Minus 126. Yeah, insane. Because different faith and culture and stuff like this. Plus she's uh, an elf. Wait, your mother? What happened to your mother? She died? She died in an accident. This was the, the, the blind witch lunatic. And now her daughter has taken over her lands. Okay, interesting. Right. Uh, that's enough of that. Let's go declare war. We're going to take your duchy. We're really, really kicking back some of these guys now. They've joined the war as well. So I can't actually declare on them, unfortunately. 
Okay, let's just deal with this first, man. And in fact, I'm going to raise the armies down here. 39,000 supply. Oh, bloody hell. Where's all my war banners? Right, I'm going to keep this one here. I should have one in Helm's Deep that I want to keep there. I think I have one here. But it seems to have moved. I got one up here. I'll tell you what, let's move this one, even though I kind of need that there. You're going to come down here now. How, how many men can I can I raise here? Is it separate? No, it's not. Okay, let's raise the armies. And I will be leading them. Just like the previous wars. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it feels fun to, to crush these goblins. Uh, orcs. Sorry, orcs. <laughs> it's so much fun. Two days left. There we go. Let's start going uh, north. We can siege all their lands. Exterminate the orcs. But we siege so bloody fast, guys. It's so crazy at this point. Oh, there's so many rivers. Th this area of the map is really beautiful, actually. We will one day maybe play as like a minor lord in Gondor. Don't worry. I, I plan to play this mod a lot. It's just going to take a while to get around to the series. Because uh, the series lasts so long. Right, warfare. Let's get private army. Max number of men-at-arms regiments plus one. And we can recruit house guard as men-at-arms. So that means we can get one more regiment. Also, we can upgrade these guys. They weren't maxed out for some reason. All our siege equipment, we can get more as well. Oh, I ran out of gold. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. So long to earn it, but so quick to spend. I have a gold spending problem, guys. 69 gold. Very nice. Beautiful stuff. 31,000. We do have slight battle advantage. It seems these guys were a little bit stronger and we've already won the war. Wow, 400 for 31,000. Look at that. Oh, we got so many prisoners as well that we should deal with. Right, right, let's, let's deal with these first. I don't think we got a cooldown again. Just, yeah, it's fine. Wow, amazing. That's really cool. We got some artifacts. Let's get rid of the Sullied Blade because that just loses prowess. Uh, and we have nothing else in here. Okay, that's cool. I can gaze into the planet. Let's do that soon. Because I'm actually okay in terms of stress. Who do I want to give this to? I think you already have good lands. So let's find a new vassal for this. Let's see. Uh, we'll give it to a, a local Gondorian noble. Oh, look at his armor. Man, that's so cool. Okay. I'm going to give you... Crap. This and this. Yes, yes, yes. And then I need someone else to take control of this. So let's give that to another noble. And then I can give you this land. Oh, this is huge. Also, I need to change your guys' um, contract. Actually, no, it doesn't matter. Because I'll tell you why. First, I need to make the duchy. There we go. 100 gold. We gain more legitimacy as well. And then I'm going to give it to this guy. Because he had really badass armor. So let's make him the, the High Lord here. The Duke. Beautiful stuff. And he can serve under me. And then I also need to make the Kingdom of Lebanon. Wait, so I'm not going to change your contract either then. Because you're going to serve under him eventually. Because he's going to become the king. Is what I'm planning. Gaze into the plant here. Let us do it. No secrets. Shall remain hidden. From the king in Casa Doom. We've already read through this stuff before, so I'm not going to do it again. Because it's quite a long one. Oh, look at Galadriel. She's still going strong. She is a drunkard, a bit scarring. <laughs> As I gaze into the planter, the countryside rushes beneath me, turning to deep forest of silver trunked trees. Deep in Devil's woods live the reclusive elves of Lothlorien, led by the heroine Galadriel. For millennia, the Galadrim have retreated ever deeper into the enchanted forests. Kept safe by their ancient magic. Those days are now gone. The magic of the Eldar is fading from the world. And the end of the One Ring sounded the hour of their departure from mortal shores. Soon these woods will be empty save for the echoes of their forgotten songs. I wonder if they will ever sail west. Eldrond and Galadriel and all of the elves. Because I mean, Sauron is gone, right? Maybe they're going to stay to get rid of the... Get rid of the orcs with us? Who knows? As I look towards Enedwaif and Dunland, I can see peaceful herds grazing in the hills, watched upon by vigilant guardians. The warlike Dunlending have been pardoned by Rohan, 
Their first revengeance upon the Forgoyle no longer troubles them. The warriors gathered by the shadow have renounced their claim on the Riddamar. The new trade relations will hopefully help both sides to pull a quick end. Old grudges are dressed. Bloody hell. I mean, we they have us to thank for that as well because I've vassalized these guys and then they're my protectorate. I've, I've stopped the, the infighting and instead focused everyone's attentions towards the orcs. And there we go. Now we can get a good night's rest. I can create the kingdom. It costs 200 gold of all, So let's wait an extra month. I want to create the kingdom and then we can offload that. And it just keeps our vassal numbers lower as well. We're not earning so much gold now though. 85, 86 per month. It's fine. It could be worse. Right. Let's form this. Another 50 legitimacy. It's slowly increasing. It takes a long time to get legitimacy though. And you shall become king of the Lebanon. There we go. Slowly the realms of men are being restored. Did I ever modify your contract? Oh, look at that. His clothes are so nice. I did, I did. Okay. Beautiful stuff. And your contract? Oh, she looks so cool with her new clothes as well. Oh, man. And then we got a dwarf king of uh, Rohan. <laughs> right. Right. How long to raise the armies? 34 days with no cooldown. I think we can do multiple wars here. Let's declare war on you. For the whole duchy. No one's joined. So we might be able to do some war against these guys as well. Let's do this. We can only do the duchy. We're going to take... Uh, Edhelion? I think it changes name though once we take it. And sadly we can't declare war on these guys. Because we don't have a, a border with them. And these guys... We're going to have to save for last. But two wars at a time is already enough. Let's raise the dwarfs once more. And I will be leading them. It's constant warfare at this point. Some of you asked if I could call in powerful vassals to war. I don't think that's a thing. I mean, you're a powerful vassal. No, you can't. There we go. I I, I just remembered. But yeah, you can't do that. Even if, I, if, even if you could, I don't think I would do that. Because vassals already give you a portion of their levies. And so they're, they're already, you know, contributing to the fight. So I think for my personal immersion, I wouldn't want to do that. Let's take some more of this stuff. And then we control the border of the Anduin River. And the orcs will be surrounded. They have no chance. Against the dwarfs. And the newly reformed realm of men. The last alliance is over. But now stands the first alliance of the fourth age dwarfs and men and elves fighting together to eradicate the orcs this is fun this is a lot of fun and, and there we go we already won this war Franduil's calling me to war again oh he's fighting 36,000 I mean he'll be fine with that he's very strong but we've won this so let's enforce this one and then we have another war over in the west, don't we? So let's get started on that. In fact, they are sieging us up there. I think we can kind of ignore that. War has been declared on me? Wait, where are you? Oh, you're in the south. <gasps> okay. Okay. I think we will be fine for now. Let us deal with this. Also, I completely forgot about the factions. I'm an idiot. I think we'll be okay though. This shouldn't take too long to win this. Maybe they'll come down and fight us. That would be useful. We're, we're building stuff as well. I think that's in the new lands we just inherited. Wait, so can you guys fix uh, all of the orc buildings that were built here? Or have you? Oh yeah, it seems to be converted. Okay, that's good. That's good. Because otherwise uh, the economy might crash. It is my daughter, Annika, that is plotting to kill my other daughter. Ah, oh, for, for my house's sake. What are you guys doing? We are surrounded by orcs and other beings of evil. And instead you plot against each other. Bloody idiots. Honestly. The fact that I call you my daughter. And you do this. Uh, I have been betrayed on this day. All right, let's go north. We'll take back these sieged lands. And then we'll fight them as well. And that should at least end this holy war. And then we got to deal with the other two. 
Wait, this is Franduil's wall, right? Yeah, that's the one we have to deal with. Okay. Right, we've cut them off. Their supplies are running low. And now we murder them. <laughs> right, there we go. Okay, so we've won this. Before I go south, I feel like um, I really need to deal with handing out the lands. Right, they got 5,000 there. Is that it? Wait, who are we fighting? Who are we fighting? No, they're up here. Oh, bloody hell. The siege and minister. Wait, wait, wait. My mouse was off the screen. Right, I need someone with organizer. We need to get there fast, lad. We need to get there fast. How long is that going to take? Three months. Okay. It is what it is. Let's go ahead and give away this land to someone new as well. So the Lindon. Let's give the, the Anduin away first. A local Gondorian noble. And then I'm going to give you... You can hold three more. I'm going to give you all of this. And then... Wait, let's take a look. Okay. So I'm going to give this to one person. There we go. And then this stuff... Okay, can go to someone different again. That's uh, a bell... A bell for noble. Also, guys, I finally learned how to say the Salmarillion. <laughs> it wasn't that hard. Uh, I, I don't know why my mind was messing up. Also, we've gained so much territory today. That's so nice. Right, where's my armies? We did win that battle. 200 for 17,000. Let's start marching back to the east. For orcs have passed over the river Anduin. Is it Anduin? Yes, the river Anduin. Which we cannot allow. This is why we sell up a border here. So we can stop orcs from passing over. We are on the horizon though. We will crush them. Ah, uh, Lyndon is under siege. It's fine. We'll do with these guys. Right, I'm going to command the armies again. Let us wipe them out. Good news is they've split up their armies into three. So, I mean, it's going to be even easier to fight them. Siege of Lyndon has lost. Wait, they managed to siege something. Okay, we won this war. Uh, that was Franduil's war. And now we're doing this war. Oh, they've, they're down here. Okay. Right, I'm taking it back. Oh, that was Lyndon. Right. Uh, and my friend, Sidon, has sent me a poem about one of the dead Nazgul, the Witch King. Oh, he looks different now. Though conflict brings wrath to all someday, our hero lives to enter the fray. So let none challenge his bold intent, lest they discover where the last challenger went. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that very much. I shall pull it to good use. It will fund <laughs> the building in doing so. <laughs> oh man, I'm a terrible friend. I'm a terrible friend. Right, I can't select the RV, can I? There we go. We need to go ahead and uh, deal with some of this. Let's just start sieging. If they come and attack us, that'll be fine. Two weeks to siege this. They are coming to attack me. I mean, we will absolutely crush them. I kind of want them to attack me. There we go. And we're starting to siege as well. Oh, it's too easy. The orcs are in disarray. Their time and their days are numbered. Is that going to end the war? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, I have so many prisoners. I forgot to deal with them earlier. We'll deal with the prisoners after this war. Oh, is that not going to end it? 94%. Okay, let's siege this then. <laughs> 1,000 gold as well. We can probably get some more building done. Let's enforce the demands. Another 600 gold there. Right, before I forget, let's deal with the bloody prisoners. So we actually have a lot of men in here. Even some elves. I'm going to release them. Because they were just kind of caught up in the war. Who are you though? So you follow the Kolbak Kaz, an unreformed day in faith. They are hostile. So these guys, I, I will release you too. There we go. I will release you as well. But these two will be executed. As we do not get along well with them and consider them evil. I could train for a tournament. Let us do that. Again, another prowess. Very nice. We don't have 100 prowess, but we do have a lot. Also, 
I think now we can... Let's see. Let's create the High Lordship of this down here. Um, I can also create this. No, I can usurp this. I can usurp this. Too many how duchies. That's fine. So I have this now, which we're going to give away to this fella. You're going to become the Duke of these lands. And I think I can grant you a vassal. Yeah, it should pop up. There we go. Let's grant you the... Oh, no, I gave vassal to you instead. Wait. Did you transfer as well? Oh, I think so. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're already part of him. Okay, it all fixed itself. Nice, nice. What should I do about my daughter, Annika? She's plotting the murder of her family members. I think I need to imprison her. I can't be having that. Wait, what's this? <gasps> to the loathsome doing. We will not stand for your vile oppression of good Gondorian orcs any longer. Our time is now at hand. With Melkul guiding us, we will rise up and free ourselves from your infidel rule. I will not be threatened by humans that stand by orcs. Raise the men in Helm's Deep. Wait. Yeah, we're going to fight these guys and we're going to come down through the lands this way, I've decided. Let's raise the men. It's only going to take three weeks. And then we will combine the armies here. Okay, my daughter Annika has been imprisoned. Is she in the dungeons? No, I'm going to move her to the dungeon. You're going to spend some years in the dungeons to think about your actions. And what it means to be a Durin and how you have betrayed our family. I will not stand for such crimes and scheming in my mountains. Not when there's so many enemies around. We're being raided down here. Oh, bloody hell. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me. I will lead the men against these orc sympathizers. Ugh, sympathizers. I can't say that word. <clears throat> Wait, what were we building here? <clears throat> oh, dear. We wanted to upgrade this. Well, I need 5.3k gold. My voice is going. <clears throat> Guys, I think I'm getting uh, sick again. What the hell? Maybe I'm getting a cold in the middle of a heat wave. That would be <laughs> interesting. Right, let's go ahead and chase these guys down. It shouldn't take too much to deal with these guys. It's just the fact that there's so many bloody armies. If we take a look at the faith map. It's slowly being converted, look. Also, we take a look at the culture map. It's uh, an absolute mess. One of you asked for this. Uh, an absolute mess here. But it will all be solved with time. Oftentimes, it's the aftermath of a big war, which is the worst. Uh, my son has gained pneumonia. Okay. I mean, that's not good. I didn't know dwarfs could develop such illnesses. Excuse me. New Marshall perk. Okay. Let's get Peacemaker. We're not going to use that. Vol. But I do want the Gallant perk. And then we can go down another skill tree. Right. We've won this because we captured the leader. Let's enforce our demands. Get rid of this. And also... Execute him. I will not have humans... Who stand up for the orcs. Get rid of them. Out of my sight now. All right, let's disband the army. We've dealt with that. And I think there is going to be a good place to leave things for today in the next episode. We still haven't reached 3358. Oh, bloody hell. So I still can't. Let me just double check this. Reform, add this uh, ritual by the sword. Yeah, 3358. In the next episode, maybe we can start work on that. It's going to take a while, though. And to be honest, we're making good progress without it. We might not even need it. Um, I'll try and take back this. We'll start warring this guy with our cooldowns and whatnot. We'll take these lands. But Gondor is slowly being reformed. We have about half of the territory. After Gondor, we need to take this place. Enedwaif. And then we shall turn our focus to east of the Anduin. We might have to deal with this. There's a, a major river down here by the looks of things. The Harnan River. Maybe we could go south to the Harnan as well. And wipe out all orcs to the north of the Harnan. That could be something. 
The South is doing a good job, but oh, okay, they're fighting a lot of wars at the moment. So their progress is being slowed. But guys, that is where I'm going to leave things for today. Thank you for watching as always. I will see you next time.